This is the city of Colon on the eastern end of the Panama Canal, right by the Atlantic coast. You can see all these big container ships waiting patiently to see if it's their turn to cross the canal today and enter into the Pacific Ocean. You can also see this massive dockyard here. All these ships are undergoing loading and unloading with the help of these huge blue-colored cranes. But have you ever wondered what actually happens when a ship crosses from one ocean to another? Let's find out in this video. The Panama Canal, an engineering marvel, slices right through the heart of the Americas, allowing ships to go from Asia to the east coast of the US and Canada and back without having to go all around the tip of South America, saving more than 8,000 miles of travel. Our journey starts here on the Atlantic side of the Panama Canal. Most ships arriving here originate from major ports like New York, Savannah, Charleston, and Miami in the United States, as well as Rotterdam in the Netherlands, Antwerp in Belgium, and Valencia in Spain. After sailing all the way down the east coast of the US, they pass through the tropical Caribbean islands and enter the Caribbean Sea. Here, they sail in open blue waters for about 650 miles before reaching the city of Colon, where the Panama Canal officially starts. Before entering, every ship must anchor off the coast, like these ones here, awaiting clearance from the Panama Canal Authority. Pilots, who are specially trained experts, board the ship to guide it safely through the canal. This is a requirement for every vessel, no matter how experienced the captain is. Now, our ship is cleared for entry. With tugs assisting, the ship moves forward towards the first challenge, the Gatun locks. These locks will lift our massive vessel from sea level up to the height of Lake Gatun, 26 meters or 85 feet above the ocean. But this isn't just a single step. The process happens in three stages, one, two, and three. You can see one ship here in this section of the locks and you can also see one here. Let me show you something interesting. Let's zoom in on one of these. This is a tugboat. And this is a mule. But what do they do? As the ship enters the first lock chamber, it is carefully aligned with the help of these tugboats and mules, not real animals but small electric locomotives on rails that keep the ship centered and prevent it from hitting the lock walls. These mules pull the ship forward, making sure it moves at a controlled pace. Look at these massive steel gates. Once the ship is inside, these massive gates shut behind it. The next step, filling the lock chamber with water. Gravity does all the work here. Water from the higher Gatun Lake rushes in through underground tunnels slowly lifting the ship. This process repeats three times. First here, then here, and then finally here. Every time the height of the ship increases slightly. If you look closely, you can even see the height of the water level increase here. In about one hour, a ship here climbs around 26 meters to match the height of Lake Gatun. From here, it will enter this massive artificial lake that forms the central part of the canal. But the journey is far from over. There's still a long way to go before reaching the Pacific. For the next 20 miles, 32 kilometers, the ship moves through this winding lake surrounded by dense jungle. You can find many ships here. This blue one is going that way, towards the Pacific, and probably onwards to Asia. And these two right here are going in the opposite direction, towards the Atlantic end of the canal, from where we have just come. Wow, this is completely unexpected. I think this is a small town right here and it looks really beautiful from above. 
you can see a small dock here with a couple of small boats anchored. This is a railway line right alongside the canal. And there's even a bridge right here over the Chagres River. Right beside the railway bridge is another bridge for cars. Let's see if we can find any street view here. I'm sure that would be very interesting. Wow, looks like we got lucky. There is indeed street view available here. Wow. It's a bright day and the entire area feels tropical. There goes the Panama Canal. And this is the railway bridge that we were just seeing from above. And wow, you can even see a ship out there. The blue and white one. The passage gets really narrow after this town. It's wide enough for ships to pass each other, but soon we reach the trickiest section of all. Culebra Cut. Even though it is just eight and a half miles long, it was by far the most difficult section to build back in the early 1900s. This is an actual photograph of construction work from 1907. Engineers had to remove over 150 million cubic meters of rock and earth, and landslides made the work extremely dangerous. More than 31 landslides occurred in this area before 1986. Unlike the open waters of Gatun Lake, the Calabra Cut is narrow, meaning ships must move carefully in single file, sometimes passing within just a few meters of the steep canal walls. You can see this blue ship right here, moving through this passage, along with this tugboat right here. Our ship has now reached the Pedro Miguel Locks, the first of two lock systems on this side of the canal used to lower the ship and decrease its height. If you look closely, you'll notice something interesting. This lock only has a single chamber, unlike the Gatun locks, which had three chambers. I can see two ships approaching the locks, one from the Atlantic side and one from the Pacific side. The final step in this journey is the Miraflores locks. where two chambers lower the ship by another 54 feet. This spot is one of the best places in Panama to see the canal up close. The Miraflores Visitor Center has a huge viewing deck, a museum, and even a small theater where you can watch how the canal works. Tourists from all over the world come here to see massive ships squeezing through these locks just a few meters away. You can also see two mules here, just like we saw previously in the video. And now, the gates open and the ship sails forward, back to sea level, completing its journey through the Panama Canal. The ship now reaches the Pacific side, passing under the iconic Bridge of the Americas before heading out into open waters. Panama City, the capital and largest city of Panama, is also situated right here. And just like that, our journey through the Panama Canal is complete. After crossing nearly 50 miles, our ship is now entering the Pacific Ocean, ready to continue its voyage to ports across Asia and beyond. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel for our support. Let me know which place you would like to tour next in the comments below. Until then, happy exploring.